Hey y'all. Growing up, we all had those instant ramen noodles. And, you know, when we were younger, this is what we had. We all had it. Maybe not the shrimp flavor. It was usually chicken or beef at my house. But, I thought that was the only kind. I really did. So, apparently there's this whole section at Walmart for stuff other than the, I guess you could say, the cheap kind. So, I picked that one that I could taste for y'all. And this is it. Now, for those of you that follow my Facebook page, I'm sure you've already seen this. And that sound is probably annoying, so I'll just move it away. Um, this is Shin Ramyun. Obviously, I really don't know what flavor it is. So... seems to have pork and chicken in it. Maybe beef and pork. Okay, but on the side, on the side it says gourmet spicy. Now, I don't know if that means full of spice, but I've already prepared it. And it's sitting right here. Now, it says in the directions, basically to make it like regular one of these on the stove top of course I choose microwave I even microwave these even though and but these you know it actually has directions for the microwave so that's how it's different but it's also got those you know little dehydrated vegetables and flavor packet but the difference is this one takes this one here takes seven minutes and then you also got to put there the vegetables in there and two cups of water and everything, and it it literally boils in the microwave. I looked at it while it was cooking, and it was actually boiling in the microwave, rolling boil like pff, all over the place. But I want to see if this is actually spicy, and if I like it better than these. Find out. Now these have been sitting here for a few minutes, so they they're probably a little bit mushier than what. I don't know what this is. Well, I can't even get it out. I... I think that is a piece of mushroom because it's rubbery. And it's got the little fins on it. Either that or it's the very edge of a piece of pork. I'm not really sure if I want to eat this or not. Okay. There's some spice to this. Whew. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it definitely cooked in. So, I'm just staring this around. And it looks like it's got some... I'm going to say kale. I'm pretty sure it's not kale. But we'll call it kale for now. But it just, honestly, it just, from what little bit I tasted, it tasted just like, um, if you've ever had the hot and spicy shrimp flavor, flavor of these, then that's kind of what it tastes like. But a little bit deeper, I guess you could say. Here it goes. I don't have anything to drink, so this could get interesting. <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> the noodle, the pasta, I guess you call it, is actually a much better consistency and flavor. It actually feels like pasta in, in my mouth instead of wet cardboard which those sometimes feel like oh that's hot whoo i love spicy food okay 
I'm the kind of person that goes to Pizza Hut, our sponsor, and gets the hottest wings they got. And having one bite of this, I think I got part of a pepper stuck in my mouth, or Chile, for those particular ones. It's hot. <laughs> Whew. I don't know. No, I don't. I did not fix any of these to compare it completely, but we all know what they taste like. Everybody's ate these. Everybody. Um, especially college graduates. See if I can go for a whole one without, you know, biting it off. No, that's hot. I'm not sweating yet, which is surprising. But it's definitely not the hottest food I've ever ate. Um, those were a set of wings from uh, whew, set of wings from uh, a restaurant in Columbus, Ohio, called Woody's. And it was kind of like a Buffalo Wild Wings uh, knockoff. And I got brave one night to try the hottest one they had. And it, it whew, I was I was up for a few hours. My belly was hurting. I'll just say that was probably, probably won't do that again. But they had a lot of other good flavors there. I, I won't be missing out on anything if I don't. Um, but that's only if we have to take my little boy back to the hospital. And... Um, let's just say, I mean, these are really good. They are hot. They are really, really hot. But, you know, maybe in that area of the store, I've not had a good chance to look over all of them. But maybe in that little area, there is a flavor of these. Maybe not spicy. But it seems like what I got or what I get out of this is it is a lot better quality of food than this and I'm not entirely sure that I would completely feel unsafe eating these because I mean you've heard of the risk of the other I mean I'm hearing something about like you see all the videos on Facebook that that people's using them and crush them up and repairing sinks and coffee tables and all that other stuff with them that kind of scares me a little bit but then again I also see videos of of somebody uh, setting up or lighting a fire with Doritos. What are we eating, people? What are we eating? That's it for today. Hope y'all like this. Go out and try some of this. It's hot, but I guarantee you, you'll like it. And don't forget to like, comment. Subscribe. Hit that subscribe and hit the little bell notification thing to let me, or not, it doesn't let me know anything. It let you know when I post another video. So, you'll stay up to date. I'm going to try, I know I said Monday, Wednesday, and Friday before. I'm at least going to post one once a week from now on. At least once a week. Um, shooting for Mondays. Shooting for Mondays. I've recently changed jobs and my schedule's a little different and when I get in that groove of figuring out how to you know what time to sleep and it's like a, a different job different shift too so when i figure all that out i should be able to do a lot more with this so um thank y'all for watching hope you liked it peace and god bless